everyone and welcome back to my cabin. That is so weird to say. So I just got up here and I just filmed like an official cabin tour, um, which you probably already watched. Hopefully, if not, it was probably the last video. Um, but we're actually gonna spend the night here tonight. It's gonna be my first night. I'm a little scared, uh, not gonna lie. But I have the dogs. I, I left Milk Toast at my house. Don't worry about Milk Toast, by the way. He's going to come here eventually. Um, and he's fine. He has an automatic feeder. I can watch him on a camera. Uh, he has a huge thing of water. My mom can go check on him. And he has a fresh new litter box. And I'm not declawing him. I never said I was gonna declaw him. I won't declaw him. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of those tip things, but I don't know how they'd really work. And he was sleepy the other day and I managed to uh, trim both of his front paws, which are really the only problem paws. So he is fine. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna start moving things in. I already built a shelf. I'll put the footage in now. Okay, we've got four shelves. And it needs to look like this. So let's get going. I made a shelf! Woohoo! I actually did a pretty good job. Like, it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't really, well, I mean, it does match the fridge. Heck, I could just put it on this wall and it would look really cool there. I didn't even think about that. That's kind of cool, but no, I got it for, um, come on. I got it for this closet to put like laundry detergent and pet supplies and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if I measured okay. This was from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was on sale. Ah. Oops, I have measured perfectly. I did it! Oh, it looks fantastic. Paige, what do you think? Check it out. It's good, right? That's my shelf. Um, but now I have to build my bed and like bring in a bunch of, um, just like, should I do a haul? Should I haul for you guys what I got? Like my home supply haul? That's boring, it's like a Walmart haul. Like it's not cute stuff, it's like, you know, bug spray for like wasps. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, I've got my stuff, let me just turn my music down. This is my haul from Walmart. I have a water fridge filter. So it's not like a pitcher, you don't have to pull it out every time, you can just stick your cup underneath it. So hopefully that fits in the fridge. I got two bath mats, I wasn't sure. I think this gray one is probably the one to, let's just try them out right now. Um, I couldn't really visualize my bathroom. I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. Um, but I think this gray one might work. Oh, how beautiful. I honestly think, I like that. Maybe I need both of them. That's too small. You're a joke of a bath mat. Maybe you'll have to go somewhere. Here, Polly, you can sleep on this for now. Stop scuffing my floors. <laughs> Sponges, very exciting. Extension cord, very exciting. But these are actually the really nice ones when you're putting it behind furniture. They don't like stick out a lot. Uh, a flashlight. Every home should have a flashlight, right? Um, I remember, I think my first apartment that I ever rented, my landlord gave me a red one. I have that one still, but I wanted one for up here. The red one will stay at the office, the blue one stays up here. Uh, a plunger. This is for like guests, obviously it's not for me. Obviously it's for guests that don't hydrate as well. Uh, okay, socks and these little like pads for the furniture. Uh, I'm gonna put these on my bed. Ah, oh, Molly, the mattress protector for you. So you don't get cr like grease all over my mattress. Uh, more drawer liners because I didn't line this bottom cabinet. Is that it? I got wasp and hornet spray because listen, I don't know where you fall on like killing bugs versus not killing bugs, but I've got three dogs up here. So wasp and hornets, sorry bud, dogs win. 
that's about it. I do have this candle, but I didn't buy this at Target. I bought this. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I've actually had this since I bought this in Los Angeles. I must have bought this in Larchmont. Uh, that's like my favorite place to go is Larchmont Village. When I lived in LA and I had Z Pizza and all my places that I went in LA, but now I live here. I can't complain, but I do miss LA. That's why I'm happy to be moving in because up until now, it was like, I freaking miss LA. I don't wanna live here, I wanna live in, I like LA, but I like Cabin in the Woods better than LA. Put you right there and you're perfect. I love you, Candle. I love you so much. I think that's basically my haul. I also have a fly swatter and a label maker that I found in my garage. So, woohoo! Time to put some dishes away. Okay, uh, some of the dishes are put away. Some of them I still have to unpack. I just got a paper cut though. Oh, it's not even bleeding. That's not bad at all. Like, I've been holding it shut so that it wouldn't bleed. There, you can see it. Uh, but this is ironic. I don't have band-aids. They're back at my office. I only have my dog first aid kit. So, yeah. I'm about to bandage it up with my dog first aid kit. Actually, it's closing pretty good. Ugh. Um, I don't even know what this has in it, honestly. I don't know if it has a normal band-aid. Probably doesn't. Okay, no band-aid because dogs. Um, but it's, if I'm holding it close, it's actually closing pretty good. So I might just do that. But this is actually a really nice first aid kit. It's got like a bottle of saline. I could like get this and then wa like flush out a wound. There's like little sterile tweezers. If they had something like in their paw, I could tweeze it out. Hydrogen peroxide. What is this? Dip and what is this? Temporarily relieves those symptoms due to hay fever or other allergies. Oh, that's right. I think I should honestly give Paige one of those because she always has runny eyes. Um, antiseptic t uh, little towelettes. And then um, are these just gauze pads? Sponges and bandages and like tape. Like, this is phenomenal. <laughs> I highly recommend. I don't know where I got this. It's called the Adventure Medical Kits. Adventure Dog Series Medical Kit. Oh, look. You can put, like, their vet on it. Wound care, medical instructions, strain, sprain. Comes with a little first aid book. Right on, Paige. You ready to do some hiking? Paige, honestly, me and Paige used to hike all the time. We don't hike anymore, do we? We got lazy. Well, I got lazy. You were wanting to hike still. Let's not talk about it, Paige. Polly found the sun again. That dog. It's actually really pretty in there. Polly. You looking out the front door? That's a gorgeous dog right there. Hi. You're pretty. She's still like a little nervous here for some reason. Paige and Molly are fine. We all took a nap, like all four of us on a full mattress on the floor. Kitchen's coming along. Molly's a lump. Paige is adorable. And I'm eating gluten-free pretzels and milk. I got myself an extender to work though, so I'm currently browsing Instagram. Oh, I need to put together the bed and I really don't want to. They're all playing together, Paige and Polly. Like Polly hasn't reciprocated play to Paige in so long. <laughs> Shh, Paige. Well, now she's just playing with Molly. Whoa, Paige! Paige! You play so mean, Paige! She plays so mean! Hi! Hi! <laughs> this is why I got carpet up here, guys! You're welcome! Oh! 
There it is, sunset. It's nice, huh, Polly? It's a lot of, what are those, crickets? It's a lot of crickets. <laughs> I don't want it to get dark. I'm going to be scared. <laughs> I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. You guys are going to protect me, right? Right? Paige is like, you're on your own. Okay, so it is now nighttime, and I'm just starting to put the bed together. I have all of the hardware here and a dead Molly. Um, there's part of it. That thing wrapped in that blanket is also part of it. And then here's like most of it. And I was actually thinking about it. I think I've put this bed together six times. It's from Ikea. I think I got it in like 2007. No, it was probably 2009. 2009 when I moved. In, when I lived in Sterling, Virginia, Arlington, Virginia, Hollywood, in Beechwood Canyon, West Hollywood, on Willoughby, and then, uh, then my office, and now here. So, wish me luck, Paige. I, like, I have it memorized by now, it's just annoying. Did you fall asleep? Um, it's after midnight. I basically finished the bed. All I have to do now is put the metal bar across the bottom and then put the wood slats on, and then put the connecting pieces on the top, which isn't very hard. So I did the hard part, I'm going to bed. I hope I'm not scared upstairs, because it's very, very dark. Um, are you staying down here then? All right, you'll be a good guard dog down here. I'm gonna go up, I think Paige and Polly are upstairs. Okay, we're camping out. Paige, me, and Polly are upstairs. Polly? Do you got this? Any intruders? I have my car panic alarm like at my fingertips. Polly, don't leave me now. Polly, stay steady. I left my pepper spray downstairs. But this flashlight's pretty heavy. I feel like I could hit. Oh, that's just Molly. Molly's coming up. All right, well, hopefully we don't hear any bumps in the night but I'll probably check back in as I try to fall asleep. I'm not by myself, I have three dogs. I'm not by myself, I have three dogs. Paige and Molly are both dreaming. They're supposed to be watching out for people, not having the best sleep of their lives. Molly, wake up. Okay, fine. I'm going back to bed. Hello. Go on, go see, Paige. Go on, go on. We made it to daylight. It's probably really early. It is 6.47. Do we wake up at six? I just tried to focus the phone instead of focusing the camera. Good job. Good morning, Polly. Do we wake up at 6.47 in the mountains, guys? I don't think so. I think we should go back to bed. Everyone? No? Who's with me? Who's with me? <laughs> this is how Polly wakes me up. She taps me. Come here, Polly. Give me a tap. <laughs> Give me a tap. What, what do you want? I'm going to bed. I'm asleep. <laughs> No, don't make me get up. Molly has the right idea. Paige has gone into her bedroom. I knew she'd like it. Good night, Paige. Hello, so I am now just finishing lunch with... Hey this guys, guy. Dan from What's Inside, if you remember us. Of course, <laughs> and I honestly swear, I could literally talk to you about YouTube for hours. Stacy is awesome. I always learn so much. We always have a good time. She's so nice. So it was good. If only Lincoln could have been here, he was pretty sad. I, I gotta go. I gotta go pay him for saying all that and everything. <laughs> no, you're like YouTube. You're my YouTube Yoda. Hashtag ad. 
Hashtag sponsor. <laughs> Sponsored by Stacy. Like, <laughs> say it again. What was the what were the deal points I said? Like, you had to get in the. Like Stacy's awesome. Stacy's great. She's so nice. She makes the best videos ever. Her fans are the best. All that stuff. So. <laughs> um, no, this place was pretty good. I liked it. It's really good. And gluten-free options. Yeah. Poor me. Poor me. So, can you give us any like? This probably won't go up for like five days. But what's coming up? What's a sneak okay. peek? Okay. Here's one thing we're doing. We're going to a Coldplay concert tomorrow. That's cool. And they make these awesome wristbands. Go watch a YouTube video on it. It's amazing. They light up to the music all throughout the stadium. And oh. we're going to take those home. You get to keep them afterward and they're not, they don't work anymore. So we're going to cut one open to see what's inside of it. But then we're going to have like a techie guy go and see if he can make them work again so that we have functioning Coldplay wristbands. So that'll be a video that's coming up sometime. That's cool. Yeah. I'm jealous. I'm going to go home and play some Minecraft. <laughs> that's fun too, I guess. Yeah. Coldplay's bucket list for me though, like my whole life. Well, not my whole life, like the last 10 years. Coldplay concert, bucket list, gotta go. I don't think I've ever seen them live. No, I haven't, but that wasn't, that's not my bucket list. My bucket list, you know who's always been on my bucket list to see live, but I feel like this is such a nerdy thing to say, but Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Yeah. That was my first ever CD I bought in second grade. Really? It was, a, it was a tape. It was not a CD. There were no CDs when you were in second grade. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> no, there wasn't. <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, my gosh. I just got home, and apparently I left Paige and Molly out with Mr. Milk. You guys could have killed my cat. Are you okay, buddy? Why are you so scared? Why are you so scared? I'm here. I'm here for you, boy. I mean, I've never done that before. But you guys were good, huh? Were you good? <laughs> hi! Hi! Hey! Hi! Were you good to milk? You didn't want to kill a cat, huh? You, you probably wanted to kill a cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me. And now you're on the chair. All right, well, I think that that was a f successful first night at the cabin. What do you think? We're back at the office now. Gotta film some videos for the gaming channel. Uh, Paige, are you sad? Do you wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk, don't you? I guess I can put off my gaming videos for a while because you wanna go outside and you wanna go on a walk, huh? You wanna go? All right. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll see you guys later. Uh, bye, Paige and Molly, love you. Go rescue a dog.